Listen, man. But seriously, I had to go to Brandon and I wanted to get some coffee in my hand. I said, of course, I had no coffee in the house. Why? But I had an empty can in the refrigerator. And I took it out and looked at it. It had that four or five more peel it open, and it's empty. And he looked down inside, and I'm like, oh, and he shut it, and he waited a second, and I tapped it against the counter, <laughs> thinking I was gonna jar loose a pound. You know that and shook it and opened it again. And there was no surprise, there's a pound in there. Like Juan Valdez wasn't down there going, hola. No, it wasn't that way. <laughs> So I had to get a good dress, I'm pissed off, I had to go down, I had to go to this place, Starbucks, and I know you guys know Starbucks, I'm, I'm talking like, like, I'm like nine years old, have you heard of the Starbucks? <laughs> I mean, great, you walk out the door, there's probably one right there, but this fucking place should be Star, fuck you, lot of bucks. <laughs> At a dollar ninety-five for a cup of coffee, little, little pricey. Little. At a dollar ninety-five, you go in there. There should be some Cuban girl grinding the beans with her ass when you get in the door. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, shh, shh, shh. what you want today, Bobby? <laughs> I don't think the house blood. That's what I'm thinking. Because that's what it is. Accents will get you. We love guys. You like accents? You can say it. Don't you? Won't mind. She probably has an accent. Don't do one that necessarily like an English accent. That one sucks. Don't do that. Do it. Do it. Like South American accent. Or southern accents? We love ourselves some southern accents. Seriously, but if you get the wrong end of the deal, southern people, if you're any of your hair, besides the hillbilly from Grafton, but everybody else, <laughs> if you got a southern accent, you get the wrong end of the goddamn deal because, like, you could have a cure for cancer, you got a southern accent, no one will take you seriously. You could be like, look at hair, what we've got here is the human gene now. Now that moves down into the day and age. You're like, yeah, whatever, Google, why don't you hop in the general legal jump and ditch somewhere? <laughs> We are, oh, of course he's very smart, he's like, let's see, no. But see, that kind of flip-flops on sexiness. Because if a southern girl comes up and goes, I locked that you in the barn and fuck you, we're like, oh! <laughs> Am I right? See, you're happy. You look at that, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's the way it works. Because soon, what do we see? She's got little pigtails and the freckles and the red shirt that's all tied up. Because southern girls can't button buttons, they gotta tie them up. <laughs> shorts and the high heels because that's what they wear around the farm, honey. Don't, we're not sexist, that's a uniform they have to wear. <laughs> but if it's an English girl, it's just like, you know, she's going to come on, that's a you stands for the old Roger in it. Oh. <laughs> it's like some kid from Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> the southern one, that's good, that's good. So I had to go, I had to go into Starbucks and I go in there and the light, because the light's on, and I had to drive fast, because like I said, <laughs> zombies, right, well, at least you're following him. You're dead. You, look, you better follow him to the bus stop tomorrow. He's not paying attention. He's half in the bag. He'll be wandering around. So like, you need change? No! You have to dive on him as fast as something. Or be, like I said, Amish. Shifty bastards, those Amish. They'll stick up and bite you just for the fucking sake of biting you. You know, because they're Amish. Who knows what they're thinking? Why the hell else are they sitting back there in their little stupid hats waiting for electricity to go so they can take over like the Planet of the Apes? Mark my words, you're going to get a P3, you're going to get a little laptop, gone. And you'll have to melt your churn of butter on a Saturday night, honey, up there right now. You can hit them with your truck, bash them with a baseball bat, they're not going to sue you. I mean, have you ever seen an Amish lawyer? Never. Never. What are you going to do? Your Honor, I object. You don't have a fucking phone. Get out of here. <laughs> and why doesn't PETA ever get on that? Seriously, you, I, we, every, every time you eat a burger, Pam Ash or Big Yankers are coming over going, boo, boo, don't eat anything with a face. And trust me, the things with a face will eat your ass, no questions asked. <laughs> She said, they, they never go to the Amish guys when at 2 o'clock in the morning you're a nice cow all calm, just sitting around. It's nice. Every day have a nice cow dreams are running free in the pastures or whatever they dream about. Some of the door person. Here comes Yoder with his big callous cold hands with nine knuckles. And it's a scientific fact. Amish guys' hands are huge. The knuckles because they're all inbreeding. And they're like huge. They're like Mardi Gras clothes. They come in there just grabbing on your teeth. Just yank and yank. Where's thine mill? Thine mill? Cow's like, oh! wear fucking glasses, you know what I mean? <laughs> and nobody's protesting them. <laughs> so I'm going to the Starbucks, right? 
what I'm trying to get through this. I got the light already. It's like 9:30 a.m. You're over, you're late for work. So <laughs> we go in there, and this is what greets me. Six o'clock in the morning. I turn around. Not some Cuban girl with beans up her ass, crushing up, which is every man's fantasy, right? Good. You know, you might just take some notes, honey, for anniversary or something like that, right? You know what I mean? I want to live in America. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. This girl turns around and she's got so many piercings in her face. She looks like a goddamn wind chime. Seriously. She took, she like, like, if I had my cell phone out, it would have blown out of my hand and shot at the sparks, right? Like, like she was in a Things Remembered gangbang. You know, there, she had all, you know, she had all these fucking piercing. And she's like, Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I went quick. I was like, I'm late. I want to go. I had no coffee. I go, just give me a large coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't serve that here. That's what I say. Get the fuck out of here. Because I can see like, the evolution of man behind me. The cup. Bo -bo -bo -bo. I go, give me that. Too. Well, I'm sorry, sir. But we only have grande and Fante. I'm like, look, Paul Roddy, it's 6 fucking 15. I'm going to tell you what I'm Give me that goddamn cup of coffee. <laughs> And now it's a bad. Missy's not giving up anything, right? She goes, okay, well, what flavor do you want? I'm like, what do you mean? I just told you the flavor. Coffee. That's the flavor. That's the meal. That's the drink. It describes it all. Give it a coffee. She goes, well, we have mocha, china, frappe, no soy, latte, vanilla, caramel, mochi. My eyes are spinning like a fucking slot machine. Like, oh. You know, that was the vein. I'm like a clinger. comes through my head. I'm like, just give it a goddamn cup of coffee. You can't talk to me like that. So you just had gigs. I can't lean across the counter and slap the shit out of <laughs> So I'm starting my own coffee shop. It's called, here's your goddamn cup of coffee. There's one size, a 50 gallon drum. You put out there, jab in the lamp, and you pump that shit in. Well, I'm telling you, thank you guys for coming out here. It's been a great time. Thank you so much.